you have made your way here because you are in the process of sleep training your child and something's not working. There's just something that's not sticking or you're not seeing the results that you're expecting to see. Let's talk about what could be going on and how we can fix this together. Hi, my name is Sarah Basio, and as the certified pediatric sleep expert of Yours and Baby Sleep, I have worked with hundreds of families around the world to sleep train from the ages of four months all the way through eight years old. I am so excited to have you here to talk about why sleep training might not be working and to help you get it on track. Let's get right into it. The number one reason why sleep training does not work is because there is some type of inconsistency in the method or the way that we are teaching our child. When we teach inconsistently or when there is something that is missing, a missing piece to the puzzle, what this means is that our child is going to provide inconsistent behavior and inconsistent results. So if you see inconsistencies in your child, meaning they sometimes fall asleep on their own, but sometimes they're crying for 60 minutes, or we've had a ton of great nights and then all of a sudden they keep waking back up, that is inconsistent to me and what I really want to look at is the way that we are teaching them so really doing some self-reflection and looking at the methods that you are using and if you truly are being a consistent 100% of the time the second reason why your child may be struggling through sleep training is because of something that's very scientific and actually backed in science research based and happens really anytime we decide to change behavior this is called a extinction burst and what an extinction burst means is that we have a behavior that we're trying to extinguish. So the behavior we're trying to extinguish is needing help to be put to sleep. And there is a burst in that needing help to be put to sleep. So there's an increase in that behavior. This usually happens sometime between nights four and seven of sleep training. Sometimes it can happen a little earlier or a little later. And what it means is that the brain is just fatigued. We have been creating a new behavior or a new pathway to establish this new way of falling asleep. The brain is doing a lot of work to establish this behavior and it gets tired. When we hit this extinction burst, when we hit this wall, this is when our child is going to see a little bit of a regression or a little dip in progress. And often at this time, this is when parents are like, oh, it was just beginner's luck and I'm gonna give up and we are not going to continue sleep training because we're right back to square one. However, when we are at the extinction burst and I see this happening when I am working one-on-one -on -one with a family, this is when I'm on the phone with them right away saying, we did it like we are at the end mark we are almost to the finish line and if we just push through these next two or three nights we're going to see your goals accomplished this is when i get on the phone and i say we are almost there you just need to hang tight we need to push through this last two or three days and then we are going to really see some progress towards our goals the last reason why sleep training may be a struggle right now is because your child is an individual and if you have gone into the sleep training venture by using a course that does not have follow-up support or by piecemealing information together that you found on Google or that maybe that you found on Instagram or reading from a book. These are really great resources, right? We live in the information age. We can find a lot of information about topics such as sleep training. However, if your child individually does not align with general information, it's going to be really hard to figure out what isn't working unless you have an expert eye. This is exactly what I help families with. So really personalizing their sleep programs, making sure that I understand what the child needs to learn, how the child is learning, and supporting parents as their accountability partner, as well as the expert who's really going to troubleshoot and make tweaks to the program to make sure that we are accomplishing our goals in an effective way. I do this through my individualized sleep programs and I'd love to talk to more about them with you. The best way to do that is by booking a discovery call with me and you can find that link down below. If you are in the process of sleep training, I'd love for you to drop a comment below to just give me an update on how things are going, what method you're using and how old your child is, and we can figure out maybe what the best method would be for your child. If you found this information really helpful, be sure to give it a like. I love to know that my content is helping families sleep better. And because I do publish content on a weekly basis, I want you to be the first to know about it. So be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. Once again, from my living room to yours, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time.